Gary, do you have uh, do we have Denny Horn on hold there? Um, yeah, Denny and Philly, yes. And yeah, I wanted to talk with him about this upcoming gig. Okay. Here. Denny, are you there? Denny, hey, I'm here, guys. How are you? Hey, man, welcome. Thanks. Welcome to be here. Good to be here. Good to hear you guys every Sunday. Fun stuff. Uh, it's funny you're, you're talking about live dad. I got a, I got a quick memory. Um, uh, I'm dating myself, but I had. 24 of my best eight tracks in my uh, 60, 63 Oldsmobile, and Live Dead was always top of the list. And I can remember distinctly when it would change tracks, and when I bought the vinyl and put the album on the record player, I would always wait for that fade out and fade back in, which of course wasn't going to happen on an album. Right, but, right. So the editing was great. It was a good, good thing isn't to have. That, in my car. Isn't that a funny thing? We get so used to that. I had a skip in my copy of After the Gold Rush, <laughs> and I and I there was just a half a line of that Don Gibson song missing. Every goddamn time I listened to that record, I got so used to it, I couldn't. You know, I was like, oh wait, the whole song. <laughs> well, the, the good thing about the eight tracks were the way the way they would fade in and fade out. You would you would gain back what you were losing as it faded out from one track to the next. It was right. Better come back in again and re revisit so you know especially with the saint Stephen 11 separation it was perfect so uh, yeah. anyway so let's talk about this gig we're doing on december 6th yes here here's the deal on december 6th um you know since march of last year i started promoting live music in a uh, a really cool venue outside of philadelphia in the suburbs very unique space, and um, on October fifth, we just had Pure Jerry play. They were they're like the the area's only, if not premier, um, great uh, not Grateful Dead cover band, but a Jerry Garcia JGB cover band. And no one's actually doing that. We've got a plethora of Grateful Dead tribute bands, but there's no one in the area that's quite doing what these guys are doing. Michael Morrow is a genius at at the vocals, at the guitar licks, at the song selection. So. That being said, and we had a full house that night, they're coming back again on December 6th, and David Gans is coming to um, play with them and also to sign his books and meet and greet the, the people that love David Gans and Grateful Dead Hour and all that you've done, and we're real excited about this coming event. Well, I'm looking forward to doing it. I played a gig with uh, uh, Michael a couple of years ago and really had a great time, so I'm looking forward to doing that again. Yeah, we're, we're, I'm really, like, pleased at, at this whole project. Because, you know, for me, like, you know, music's always been in my blood. I'm 67 years old, semi-retired, and I've always had this dream of putting people and music, you know, back back into, like, what I used to have in my parents' basement with the blacklight, you know, having people over. <laughs> right. <laughs> so now it's, like, caught forward another 50 years, and here I am again putting people in a room with music and light shows and uh, the place is so unique. It's a uh, restored sheep barn, a 100-year-old building that's been converted. It's used as a, a church on Sundays. It's used as um, you know event space for for anything, from finger painting to vocal choirs to uh, arts and crafts nights, poetry, comedy. So I met the property managers back in March on my birthday last year, and. We talked about you know this concept of me bringing the bands in because they knew about my house concert pass, which you know for me started with you, David, at, at a backyard in Huntington Valley. No, that's years right. Ago, which which now here I am back in Huntington Valley again. So it's kind of a a lot of synchronicity, and I I knew for the moment I walked in there that I had to do something there, and since then it, it erupted organically, which is the perfect thing. And now I'm, I'm booked through um, February, March of next year. That's great. So, uh, we, we need to wrap this up here, Denny. The, the place is called the uh, Events at the LNC, and it's at 1725 Huntington Road in Huntington Valley, Cal uh, Pennsylvania. The gig will be on December uh, 6th. I put links to uh, that page and your Circle D Productions page on the Tales from the Golden Road page so our listeners can follow through and uh, take a look at what you're doing. And you must have other events planned coming up there. Yeah, right? lots of good bands coming, very eclectic selection, and uh, the Grateful Dead type bands, they just keep filling the place every time. So, it's, And we're actually planning outdoor shows. Right now we're at 90 capacity in an indoor building with perfect acoustics and the fire pit drum circles after the show. Uh, BYOB. It's a lot of perks that, that other places aren't offering, not to mention that you can hear a pin drop during the music 
uh, and you don't have all that talking. And, oh, always and, nice to hear. We like that. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's a perfect space. I'm really happy to be doing it. I'm thrilled to have you guys coming down. Well, great. Thank you, Denny. I'm looking forward to seeing you again and being there. And I've always had great times in the Philadelphia area. All the musicians I know there are great. Great to hear from you, Denny. All right. Take care, guys. Take care. Bye-bye. Be well. Bye.